It's game day, games, and you know what that means. Time to huddle up with Papa Murphy's Take and Bake Pizza. Whether you're cheering for the Chiefs, Broncos, Cowboys, or any team in between, Papa Murphy's has you covered with fresh, delicious pizzas made right here in Hayes. Grab a classic pepperoni, a Papa Murphy's Cowboy Pizza, or build your own masterpiece. Papa Murphy's Take and Bake Pizza. Order online for fast, convenient pickup, or use the drive-thru, or order inside. Kick off your game day with Papa Murphy's 27th Street in Hayes. Meanwhile, at Herman Physical Therapy. Fellas, what should we talk about? Chronic or acute tendinopathies? Super idea, Kirby. Like tenosynovitis or lateral epicondylitis. Or maybe, Troy, we could use words people understand. <laughs> Good thought, Aaron. Physical therapy effectively treats conditions like tennis elbow or chronic heel pain. And with our laser therapy, healing is even faster. Herman Physical Therapy. We get results and make it fun. Get ready for a squeaky clean adventure at Tommy's Express Car Wash in Hayes. It's time to drive your car around Hayes in style. And at Tommy's, new subscribers can get a month of car washes absolutely free. Just download the app, put your details in, and choose the plan that gets you excited. Yep, and then view your free month during checkout. And then it's up to you to wash your vehicle, well, whenever you want, with Tommy's Unlimited Car Washes. Get on your phone and get signed up right now. Tommy's Express Car Car Wash, Street, Hayes. Hey, it's Wyatt, the site leader at Tommy's Express here in Hayes. And whether you're listening to the Wildcats, the Chiefs, or my favorite team, the Broncos, we want you to swing into our car wash here on Vine Street and find out just how shiny we can get your ride. Hey, it's Chris Elson, and thank you for making your radio home for the NFL, Hayes and Gray Fence, number one hit music station, KISS 104.7. Telephone, wireless, internet, and TV. Connected all together with GBT. When your home or business needs security, connected all together with GBT. Your home for all the NCAA action in Hayes and Great Bend is KXNC and SC 104.7 KISS FM. Connected all together with GBT. Connected all together with GBT. Great things are happening here at Worth Heating, Plumbing, and Air Conditioning. And we're not just hiring. We're expanding and building a brand new future. We're set to unveil a new facility designed for excellence. So if you're an HVAC or plumbing professional who is wanting to elevate your career with innovative projects and exciting challenges, stop on by or apply online today at worthplumbing.com. Worth Heating, Plumbing, and Air Conditioning of Hayes. Done right because they're worth it. In the first half, Ezekiel Elliott looks like his old self and CeeDee Lamb, also fresh off a new contract, looking uh, and doing quite the part as the Cowboys have this 17 point lead. We will take a listen to the highlights and check out the stats just a couple of moments. First, take a look around the league week one. A lot of action, including a couple of games along our Compass Media Networks. One right now that is in progress and that's in Los Angeles where the Raiders trail the Chargers 9-7 as they play midway through the third quarter. At the half, it is Denver leading Seattle 13-9 and they've just started the third quarter in Tampa where the Bucks lead the Commanders 16-7. The earlier finals, one game along our Compass Media Networks, the Texans out scoring the Colts 29-27. C.J. Stroud threw for 234 yards, including two touchdowns to his newest wide receiver, Steph Diggs. The Bears and Caleb Williams beat the Titans 24-17. Williams, not all that impressive today, but their special teams and defense were. They scored a couple of touchdowns that way. Chicago came back from a big deficit, 17-0 for the win. The Vikings rolled through the Meadowlands, beat the Giants 28-6. The Saints hammered the Panthers 47-10. The Patriots stunned the Bengals 16-10. Ramondre Stevenson ran for a buck 20 and a touchdown odd loss for cincinnati at home dolphins over the jaguars 20 to 17 bills come back from 17 three down beat the cardinals 34 28 steelers get six field goals from chris boswell and beat the falcons 18 to 10 Coming up Sunday night football, Rams and Lions from Detroit. Tomorrow night, it'll be the Jets and Niners to wrap up the first week of the 2024 season from Santa Clara. We'll take a timeout. When we come back, stats and highlights of our game with the Cowboys leading the Browns 20-3. to You're listening to Compass Media Networks. This is the NFL. This is the story of the one. As a warehouse manager, her job is to transform chaos into clarity and to see patterns where others see problems. Luckily, she's got a partner who shares her perspective. Granger offers over a million industrial-grade products, 
backed by real person support and in-depth online resources, so she can tackle every task with precision and turn potential setbacks into streamlined success. Call clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Nachos! Yeah, you nachos! Hey, I'll take some. Great. And some Frank's Red Hot. Oh, nah, I'm good. Oh, you're just gonna eat these dry, plain, boring nachos with no Frank's. Uh... Oh, seriously? Frank it up. Frank it up. Come on, lady. Frank it up. Frank it up. Frank it up. Yeah! Yeah, this guy finally gets it. Hey, look, we're on the jumbo truck. It's the perfect blend of flavor and heat. Frank's Red Hot. I put that sh on everything. Welcome back inside the Colts Halftime Report. Cowboys lead the Browns 20-3. to Take a listen to some of the highlights in that first half. Cleveland getting on the board with a Dustin Hopkins 51-yard field goal uh, led by a 28-yard punt return from Jason Darden. Cleveland the early 3-0 lead. The Cowboys, though, get the ball, go right down the field and do it quite quickly. And it was Dak Prescott fresh off the extension with a nice pass play and a score. Here comes the blitz. Cowboys pick it up, throwing in zone to a wide open target on the receiving end. Brandon Cooks for the Cowboys touchdown. Cap to six play drive. Dallas led 7 3 into the second quarter. The Cowboys had a drive. It felt like it was six or seven years ago. It was a lot of Dak and a lot of Ezekiel Elliott. And ultimately, it was Zeke that punched the ball into the end zone. Prescott with a snap. Inside handoff to Elliott. Elliott diving down low. Punches across the goal line for the Dallas touchdown. And you thought the six-play 70-yard drive was impressive. How about 11-play 78 yards? Took up almost six minutes off the clock. Dallas led 14-3. to Later in the second quarter, Brandon Aubrey would connect from 57 yards out and put Dallas up 17-3. to Then Deshaun Watson was picked off by Eric Kendricks off a deflection from Micah Parsons. Dallas didn't do a whole lot with it, even though they got the ball deep in Cleveland territory. They would have to settle for an Aubrey field goal, and Dallas led 20-3. to It certainly looked like Aubrey connected from six 66 yards out, uh, but the play waved off because of a delay of game. The Cowboys then just threw the ball downfield to end the half, and that's where we stand at Dallas leading 20-3. to Time to check the halftime stats sponsored by Indeed.com. Looking for quality candidates? Look no further than Indeed. Their video interview tool takes the hassle out of virtual hiring. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. Well, Deshaun Watson, a tough first half, 7 of 15, just 36 yards, and he was picked off one time. Dak Prescott, efficient, 14 of 21, 156, and that touchdown to Brandon Cooks. Ezekiel Elliott, the leading rusher in the game, 8 carries for 35 yards and a score. Not much doing for Cleveland. Jerome Ford, 4 for 11. That was it. David Njoku, three catches for 15. Um, you can tell Cleveland's offense not doing a whole lot. CeeDee Lamb at four for 58 for the Cowboys. Brandon Cooks, four catches for 40 with the touchdown. Defensively, it certainly seems like the Cowboys have been more active, though there have been a couple of sacks on Dak Prescott. But in terms of the offense for Cleveland, um, the numbers pretty much say it all when you look at what these two teams are doing collectively. I'll give you one stat to leave you with as we head into the third quarter. Through the first two quarters, the Cowboys' offense has 13 first downs. Cleveland just won. And Dallas has outgained them 216 yards. Cleveland just 54. And that's why the Cowboys have this 20-3 lead. This has been the Coles Halftime Report. Back-to-back -back school, uh, back school shopping can be chaotic. That's why Coles made it easy with A-plus essentials, all for a great price. When back-to-school stirs up the unexpected, it's time to head back to Coles. When we come back, we head back to Cleveland. Rejoin Kevin and Steve for the start of the third quarter. Dallas leading the Cleveland Browns 20-3. to You're listening to the NFL on Compass Media Networks. As a customer-owned cooperative, Midwest Energy members elect their board of directors. Ballots for this year's director election are in the mail and must be completed and returned by October 4th. Election results will be announced at our annual meeting on Monday, October 21st, 10 a.m. at the Hilton Garden Inn in Hayes. We'll give away great door prizes and all Midwest members are invited to attend. Midwest Energy, a customer-owned cooperative, making energy work for you. You get to choose where you go for physical therapy. So why choose Herman PT? We open early, 7 a.m. until 5 p.m. We make physical therapy fun. If you need PT, we'll find a spot in two days or less. No one should have to wait weeks to start physical therapy. Troy and I are both certified in dry needling and vestibular rehabilitation. 
And we have a 25 watt high intensity laser that speeds up healing. Choose Herman Physical Therapy. We get results and make it fun. Get ready for a squeaky clean adventure at Tommy's Express Car Wash in Hayes. It's time to drive your car around Hayes in style. And at Tommy's, new subscribers can get a month of car washes absolutely free. Just download the app, put your details in, and choose the plan that gets you excited. Yep, and then view your free month during checkout. And then it's up to you to wash your vehicle, well, whenever you want, with Tommy's Unlimited Car Washes. Get on your phone and get signed up right now. Tommy's Tommy's Express Car Wash, Pine Street, Hayes. Hey, it's Wyatt, the site leader at Tommy's Express here in Hayes. And whether you're listening to the Wildcats, the Chiefs, or my favorite team, the Broncos, we want you to swing into our car wash here on Vine Street and find out just how shiny we can get your ride. Hey, it's Chris Elson, and thank you for making your radio home for the NFL, Hayes and Gray Fence, number one hit music station, KISS, 104.7. Get hurt in the game? We tough it out. Feel exhausted? We push on. Feeling down? We pull ourselves up by the bootstraps. But there are times when bootstraps aren't enough. When stress gets to us and we need to talk to someone about what we're really going through. So, we're going to reach out. Because sometimes, mental health is not a one-person job. Visit loveyourmindtoday.org. That's loveyourmindtoday.org. Brought to you by the Huntsman Mental Health Institute and the Head Council. Walker behind him. It's just going to throw out to Walker, and it's picked off. It's intercepted. The Cardinals are going to run it back for a touchdown. So now Herbert out of the gun on third and three at the 13 of the Seahawks. Takes the snap, sets up in the pocket, throws on the run. It's grabbed by Williams, turns the corner, and he'll score. Mike Williams. Back to throw, has all kinds of time. Throws back left corner of the end zone. Caught. Toe tap. Touchdown, Amari Cooper. The start of the second half of Compass Media Network's coverage of the NFL. 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 Now, let's rejoin Kevin Ray and Steve Berline back out at the field. It's about set for second half action here in this NFL kickoff 2024 season opener as the Cowboys leading the Browns 20-3. And, Steve, we were talking there at the break. If you're Kevin Stefanski and Ken Dorsey, the offensive coordinator, where do you begin? Because there weren't, there wasn't even like one area where you could say, okay, if we can just clean this up, we've got an opportunity to, to make some plays. Right now the Cowboys have them neutralized both in the passing game and the rushing attack. Well, I don't think Ken Dorsey should be saying anything. I think Kevin Stefanski probably told them that we deserve to be booed coming off the field. As coaches, as players, all of us need to do a better job. Our plays are not coming up as we designed them. And when we do have chances to make plays, you're not executing. We're just horrible. I mean, you look at the numbers. They've got the Cleveland Browns have one first down on the day. To they're, 13 for Dallas. They're 0 for 6 on third down, 54 total yards. Deshaun Watson is 7 of 15 for 36 yards. Uh, I mean, it, it's just there's nothing, as you said, that they could even hang their hat on. As, hey, at least we got this going for us. They got to just start from scratch, take it one drive at a time. And I'm sure he probably said some things to upset, for lack of a better term, to upset people right, and see if he can get a little fire coming out of that locker room. The Dallas Cowboys, on the other hand, I mean, they're going up against a great defense. They put together two or three nice drives. They've taken advantage of good field position a few times. That's how you play on the road against a good football team. At, you know, it's, it's, it's a very strong, dangerous defense. Brandon Aubrey's got it teed up. Kick fielded from the goal line. Darden on the return, running to his right at across the 25-yard line. And Cowboys special team pursuit gets down there. Leah found the talented rookie out of Notre Dame, flying downfield to make the tackle there on the kick return. So we'll see what adjustments... Deshaun Watson and this Cleveland offense can try to put into play here in this second half. They led 3-0, and then the Cowboys went with 20 unanswered points. The lead of the break here. Brown starting, going right to left, wearing those brown uniforms, white numbers, the orange helmets with a white stripe. They'll go to the rushing attack. 
attack here. Ford gets a carry. And time with a second effort. Good second effort there from Jerome Ford. Fifth round pick out of Cincinnati. He picks up four on that carry. Again, they will be without the services of Nick Chubb for the first month of the season as he is recovering from ACL MCL injury. Eric Kendricks with the tackle for the Cowboys. Kendricks with the first half interception late. Shotgun snap to Watson. Penalty flag thrown. Pass complete. But doesn't net much, if anything, at all. Ford out of the backfield with a catch. Illegal formation. Offense number 79. Clear was not on the line of scrimmage. Five-yard penalty. Still second down. Uh, Dewan Jones' name and number has been called more often than he would like for all the wrong reasons. That is the eighth penalty of the team, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe his fourth. I think he's got half of them. It's at least his third and probably. I think he might be right. It could, could be four. Jones getting the start today in place of Jack Conklin, two-time All-Pro right tackle. He's recovering from a second ACL injury. Cowboys bring the blitz. Watson has to get it quickly out of his hand. The pass behind the intended receiver, Amari Cooper. And the fans who have taken their time in returning to the seats let them know about it because now they're faced with third and 11. And that, that's just... You can't point any fingers at that. Deshaun Watson went to the right receiver. Mark Cooper's an experienced player, ran the right route. It was a hot throw, but Deshaun Watson threw it in, in a position. Mark Cooper had no chance to catch the football. It was behind him and low. Watson with a shotgun snap. Cowboys break the pocket down. Watson scrambling, and down he goes. This time it's D-Law. The Marcus Lawrence gets his first sack of 2024. It was Parsons who got the first one of 2024. It'll be a loss of 13. But it was Parsons who helped set it up because he ran Watson his direction because he went right around Joel Batonio, the six-time Pro Bowl left guard. And now we're seeing Parsons line up to the inside instead of off the edge. That you're seeing a little bit of creativity from Mike Zimmer uh, because you know that the Browns are going to come out in the second half trying to game plan for what was done in the first half. It's a nice little adjustment by Mike Zimmer. York is punting from his own end zone. Another low punt. Fielded at the 40 by Turpin. Running to his right. That's 45. Got a block at midfield. At 40. 35-30. Turns the corner. Looking for another block. It. Angle back to the inside of the 10. To the 5. Into the end zone. Touchdown. Cavante Turpin takes it to the house. 60 yards on the punt return. I, I don't know how many times I said it in the first half. I mean, you're, you're, you, you get a punter that's punting the ball low. And allowing that receiver to have 10 or 15 yards to catch it and then pick his lane, that you're playing with fire. And sure enough, this happens here, first punt of the second half. That That is squarely on the punter. Uh, you can blame coverage if you want, but when the punter does not get any hang time, those guys can't get down the field and cover that. So just like that. The quick strike score comes from the Cowboys special team. As Aubrey comes on to the point after, the Cowboys offense doesn't even have to step on the field. They see seven go on the board. It's 27-3. Cowboys in front. Early third quarter here in Cleveland with a timeout on the field. You're listening to the NFL on Compass Media Networks. Projects and exciting challenges. Stop on by or apply online today at worthplumbing.com. Worth Heating, Plumbing, and Air Conditioning of Hayes. Done right because they're worth it. 
Meanwhile, at Herman Physical Therapy. Fellas, what should we talk about? Chronic or acute tendinopathies? Super idea, Kirby. Like tenosynovitis or lateral epicondylitis. Or maybe, Troy, we could use words people understand. <laughs> Good thought, Aaron. Physical therapy effectively treats conditions like tennis elbow or chronic heel pain. And with our laser therapy, healing is even faster. Herman Physical Therapy. We get results and make it fun. As a customer-owned cooperative, Midwest Energy members elect their board of directors. Ballots for this year's director election are in the mail and must be completed and returned by October 4th. Election results will be announced at our annual meeting on Monday, October 21st, 10 a.m. at the Hilton Garden Inn in Hayes. We'll give away great door prizes and all Midwest members are invited to attend. Midwest Energy, a customer-owned cooperative, making energy work for you. Weekend on Compass Media Networks is presented by NFL Sunday Ticket and YouTube TV. With NFL Sunday Ticket and YouTube TV, you get every game, every Sunday. Local and national games on YouTube TV. NFL Sunday Ticket for out-of-market games. Excludes digital-only games. Device and content restrictions apply. Well, 60-yard punt return for Cavante Turpin. First of his career... You're so happy with this young man, Steve, because he bounced around the league for several years. And he had said before training camp with some of the OTAs, he felt the best about this situation coming into this season as the kick from Aubrey will be returned from two yards deep. Cross of the 10, hits a 20, 25, Darden runs into traffic there and tripped up and brought down. But he had said that it was the first time in his NFL career that he had had an entire offseason with the same team because he's bounced around in and out of the leagues. He's gone in midseason trying to learn the playbook. You know, you, you have only one or two opportunities in those situations, and he has really made the most of his time now in Dallas. He has, and we noticed him uh, the few times we went up to training camp, and in the preseason he was making plays. He was kind of standing out as a guy that, hey, he's got a little something special about him. Here is Ford, the ball carrier. And right now, if you're, you're Cleveland, you're really in a precarious situation. You need to throw the football, but you haven't shown the ability to protect Deshaun Watson with your two tackles being out today. Yeah, that, that, that's the dilemma. But you, you have to start attacking down the field somehow, some way. Watson winds his deepest shot of the day. Looking... Ramari Cooper, but he was blanketed by two defenders, Trayvon Diggs and Jordan Lewis. This Cowboys secondary, of course, missing Deron Bland for the first at least six weeks of the season. But Kalen Carson has performed well today, but he's gotten a lot of help from that defensive front. Yeah, the, the Deshaun Watson has not had time to really go through his progressions and try to make the decisions he needs to make. The few times that he has had, protection and receivers open he has not delivered the ball very well so uh, that's not a good combination if you're a Browns fan Ward stays in a game now he'll shift up off the left side Browns 0 for 7 on third down conversions and Watson clearly looked like a miscommunication with he and Ford because he moved Ford around two different spots and ultimately saw the play clock winding down has to burn an early timeout here with 12.23 to go in the third quarter. Glad you could join us here today inside Huntington Bank Field alongside the quarterback Steve Berline. I'm Kevin Ray. Jerry Recco back in our Progressive Insurance studios. Progressive Insurance offers auto, home, and commercial auto insurance plus a variety of business insurance options. Visit Progressive.com today. Kevin Stefanski, two-time coach of the year. Longest tenured Browns head coach since Bill Belichick. That's That gives you an idea of how amazing. unstable yeah. this organization had been before his arrival. Watson winds, throws on third and long, completes it for their second first down of the day. Carson had the coverage, but it was Jerry Judy who dropped one early. And you hear kind of the derisive cheers from the fans saying, finally, a first down. A little sarcasm, I think, uh, behind that cheering. 
say that uh, you, 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 wow, he looked like we made an NFL type play there. 15 yards on a pickup. Brown scored first in this one. Led 3 0. Been all Dallas ever since. Watson, shotgun snap. Short roll to his left. Pressure from his backside. Runs up right into the teeth of that Dallas defense. And he gets sandwiched between Kendricks and Demarcus Lawrence. Odigi Zuwa was the one who flushed him out of the pocket and forced him back up inside. Odigi Zuwa coming off a tremendous campaign in 2023. Well, that was a chance that the, the Browns were going to try to draw up a little play action down the field. But again, the protection completely broke down and Deshaun Watson never even had a chance to see what was there down the field. Watson looks, throws, completes, and Joku went over the two defenders. And in Joku coming off a career year, 81 grabs last year, hauls this one in and takes it into Dallas territory after the big pickup. Wilson mistimed his angle, and Njoku, that big body, 6'4", 250, rumbles ahead for 29 yards and a pickup in their best drive so far of the day. Ball at the Dallas 27-yard line. Watson with a shotgun snap. Has time. Sets, throws, completes. He'll go to his tight end again. This one is Jordan Aikens. Six yards on that pickup. So two quick throws. Watson getting it out of his hands in the blink of an eye. Yeah, maybe they found something here trying to work the middle of the field with the tight ends. Watson will go with an empty set. Three wide here to the near side as they work right to left. Now steps to his left. Calling off an audible, it appears. Two receivers up at the top of the formation. Cowboys showing a four-man rush. That's all they bring. Completes the throw near side. And enough for the first down. Pass is complete to Elijah Moore. So they have doubled their first downs from the first half. That one goes for four, and they'll move the chain. Well, it seems like that completion on third down to Jerry Judy, which may have been the first completion in in Deshaun Watson's previous ten attempts, that seems to have jump-started this offense a little bit. They've got a little rhythm now going all of a sudden. Ford in the backfield, flanked to the right of Watson, takes a shotgun snap. Watson with a pump fake, throwing end zone, and he throws this one a good 12, 13 yards out of the back of the end zone. It was Trayvon Diggs who was blanketed all over Jerry Judy. Just good to see number seven out there running around healthy because he is one of the game's best when he is healthy. Two-time pro bowler, 18 interceptions in his young career. Incredible playmaker, and unfortunately, they don't have he and Bland on the field together. If you would have put those two on the field together, you're talking about, you know, by a long ways, the two most productive cornerbacks in terms of interceptions in the last couple of years. Watson with a shotgun snap. Cowboys bring an extra defender again, throwing end zone, and both of his throws to the end zone have been not even close. I mean, that was thrown. 20 yards out of the end zone, and he was under no pressure at all. There's, there, we're looking at the replay. There's nobody anywhere near Deshaun Watson. He could have held that ball and maybe tried to extend the play a little bit, try to find somebody open instead of just almost throwing it up into the second level. Okay, and the one thing we've not seen from Watson today, and I suppose you could kind of understand it, we really haven't seen him try to use his legs to, to scramble. Not much. Other no. than just running for his life yes. from the pressure being applied by Parsons. This time coming up the middle. Slant route complete and very close to the first down. Kalen Carson had the coverage on Amari Cooper, and Cooper, the veteran receiver, falling forward. And that was a good-looking pass off of the arm of Watson, and they say first down, so first and goal to go. go well, they, no, they say it's fourth down. Oh, fourth down. I thought the official gave the first down indication. And on fourth down, the play is going to get, the pass is going to get tipped. Well, that was interesting because Cleve Blakeman appeared to come up and indicate first down. Yeah, I... I and that, there well, was clearly it, it, confusion with Kevin Stefanski. I think he is believing it's a first down. On the previous play, the yardage gains was enough for a first down. It was first and goal at that point. 
That would be second down and goal. There you go. Well, and that, that's what I was basing the, the call off of. Blakeman clearly had the first down indication, but yeah, the person holding the stick, the, the, the down marker, did, the not the field, did not get the message. Did not get the message. I was like, fourth down, they're going to run up to the line. They're going to do a quarterback sneak, right? Try to pick up the first down, and then all of a sudden they run the, the bootleg, and it, it doesn't work. I'm like, what? What kind of call is that on fourth and inches? But it actually, they had gained the first down. But hey, Cowboys was, defense had already sprinted off the field. The offense is yeah, they was halfway it was on the field. Down, I think too. Yeah. That's uh, Joku being escorted off the field too. That's well, that's that would be a, a big loss for them as he took a big hit on that last big catch he had of 29 yards. Yeah, that was the look. The replay they just showed him. I mean, like just when you're getting your passing game a little yeah. rhythm, as you mentioned, and you need him. Jordan Aikens he is the backup, seven-year veteran out of Central Florida. So they're still kind of sorting things out here. I'm not sure. Well, you've got Cleet Blakeman over here, and he is talking to to Mike McCarthy. I think he's trying to explain to Mike McCarthy what occurred. And McCarthy just was saying, he's like, we had no idea it was first down. Yeah. We, you know, on the field, all indications were fourth down. But yeah, you said it, you saw Cleet Blickman. Well, it, it, it certainly looked down. like he, he had signaled first down. Yeah. But also, going back to the point you'd made, Cleveland got up to the line quickly, which, and, and so you, you didn't know. It's second and goal. For Cleveland. Here we go. He, he doesn't sound too sure of himself. We'll, we'll have to wait for the we'll yeah. have to wait for the postgame report. Yes. Twelfth play of this drive, longest drive of the evening so far for the Browns. The trailer 27-3. Watson winds throws. Looking. High line. Touchdown Browns. Jerry Judy. A rocket off of the arm of Deshaun Watson. And the one thing that, that did kind of come to fruition on this drive is the throws that have been successful have been one, two out of his hand. Right. Getting rid of the ball. That was a tremendous throw by Deshaun Watson and a great catch by Jerry Judy. The backup tied in. Akins, as you said, in for David and Joku, uh, almost messed up that play. He ran the wrong route, was in between Jerry Judy and Deshaun Watson. Which made the throw even tougher. Hopkins off of the point after. And after one first down the entire first half, Cleveland getting their first touchdown of 2024. Watson to Judy. And still on the wrong end of the scoreboard here in Cleveland. They trail the Cowboys 27 to 10. More action for the field up next. You're listening to Compass Media Networks. This is the NFL. We all know just because gifts for loved ones can look like flowers, a spa day, or maybe even planning date night. But what about something that will truly last and protect your loved ones along the way? I'm talking about life insurance. I called SelectQuote to secure our coverage and couldn't believe how easy and affordable it was. I'm 40 and my $500,000 policy was only $16 a month. My husband's also 40 and his $500,000 policy was only $18 a month. And with their same day coverage, there was no medical exam required and we were covered by the time we hung up. With monthly payments less than the cost of a bouquet of Flowers. This is the perfect time to make sure your family is protected. Call Select Quote at 1 800 474 5533 or go to SelectQuote.com to get your free quote today. That's 1 800 474 5533. 1 800 474 5533. Details on example rate at SelectQuote.com. With Labor Day savings at the Home Depot, you can get up to $1,500 off select appliances from top brands like LG, America's most reliable line of appliances like the lg smart top load washer with easy unload angled front so you can reach every last sock right now get up to fifteen hundred dollars off select appliances in store and online with labor
Labor Day savings at the Home Depot. How doers get more done. Price and ballot August 22nd through September 11th. U.S. only. See store online for details. America's most reliable line of appliances per independent study. Every business faces challenges, but complicated, expensive, and uncertain shipping shouldn't be one of them. With USPS Ground Advantage from the United States Postal Service, you can avoid all the noise. No more unexpected surcharges, hidden fees, or complex rate structures. It's just easy, cost-effective, and dependable shipping. Tune your business's frequency to success and turn shipping to your advantage. Learn how at USPS.com slash advantage. USPS Ground Advantage. Simple, affordable, reliable. Watch all the excitement of the NFL on CBS. Check your local listing for games and times in your area. Catch the NFL on CBS. Well, the Browns finally found the end zone here this afternoon. 12 play drive, 75 yards, 417. Watson, 5 of 11, and completes his first touchdown pass of 2024 to Jerry Judy, the newest member of the Browns receiving core, 6 yards. Here's the kickoff from Hopkins. Monte Turpin returned to punt 60 yards. The first time the Cowboys touched the football in the third quarter. And that, that punt return certainly is big right now. Sure. The Cowboys offense didn't even have to take the field. Right. I'm a little bit uh, confused as to why, and we were talking about this during the break, why Kevin Stefanski did not decide to go for two points after that touchdown. It would have made it a 27-11 to 11 game where it's only a two-score game at that point. Now, at 27-10, to 10, you're halfway through the third quarter. You're, you're, you're in a three-score ball game. Brown's showing blitz. Parsons, or Prescott stepping back. Wide throws far sideline to Brandon Cooks. Martin Emerson Jr. stride for stride with him. The third-round pick out of Mississippi State. Put himself together a good career. Four interceptions, 14 pass breakups last season to lead Cleveland in those categories. Prescott, 14 to 21, 156 yards, touchdown. Elliott with a rushing touchdown. Rico Dowdle in the backfield. Two tight ends on the left side. They'll go jet sweep. Lamb looking for blockers. Comes back to the inside, and he's cut down pretty quickly there. Nice job. Pressure off the edge by the strong safety, Juan Thornhill, who came up. Thornhill, a newest addition. Two-time member of the Super Bowl champion, Kansas City Chiefs. Three yards and a pickup for Lamb. Brings up third and seven. Anytime I see C.D. Lamb coming in that kind of motion inside, if I'm Cleveland, I'm saying jet sweep all the way where he's really coming across the field. He, it's, it's held true all day. It's the third time they did it. Prescott, raising that left knee, takes a shotgun snap pass, low and away, knocked away by Greg Newsom, the second, and a quick three and out for the Cowboys offense, who, well, they had an extended halftime because you consider Cleveland got the ball to start. They punted. Got the punt return, and then Cleveland put together that five-and-a-half-minute drive. Yeah. So the, the offense is looked not, a little sleepy on that yeah. particular series. And believe me, that does that does have an effect when you come out in the field and you're, you're standing around that long and maybe even get a little bit complacent, especially after the punt return touchdown. Ryan Anger, low wobbling punt. Jalen Darden moves up to the 25, running to his right. Stutter step, cuts back left, and the 30. Zigzags his way between the hash marks out near the 35-yard line. And the Browns, who scored in their last drive with the football, there is a penalty down. And I believe it's going to be a holding call against Cleveland. We'll wait and get the call before we... Lakeman taking extended time here to get the jersey number and the infraction. During the kick, holding receiving team number 54. Penalties 10 yards from the end of from the spot of the catch. First down, Cleveland. 
No Cleveland football, but a Dallas lead, 27-10, 7.47 to go here in the third. More action from the field up next. You're listening to Compass Media Networks. This is the NFL. What's that sound? That's the sound of Downy Unstoppable scent beads going into your washing machine and giving your clothes freshness that lasts all day long. There it is again. It's like music to your ears, or more like music to your nose. That freshness is irresistible. Let's get a Downy Unstoppables bottle shake. And now a sniff solo. <laughs> nice. With Downy Unstoppable, you just toss, wash, wow, for all day freshness. The NFL season is underway. Don't miss your chance to be part of the action. Tickets to all regular season games are on sale. Be there live to support your favorite team. Let's go! See every epic showdown, every classic rivalry, and every primetime game under the lights, live and in person. Visit NFL.com slash tickets to purchase tickets today. Tickets are available through Ticketmaster, SeatGeek, and Sports Illustrated Tickets, members of the NFL Ticket Network. Stop what you're doing, because right now, Kohl's is giving away millions in instant cold cash in stores for free. You heard that right. This weekend is their Kohl's Cash Ultimate Giveaway. Plus, get three days of deals in store and online. Yep, you definitely don't want to miss this. So hurry to Kohl's today, before it's too late. Kohl's Cash Giveaway valid in store only, redeemable only that day. Some exclusions apply, while supplies last in September 8th. See store or Kohl's.com for details. Jerry Recco in New York, elsewhere in the fourth quarter. The Chargers leading the Raiders along our Compass Media Network, 16 to 10, four minutes to go there. In the third, Seattle leading Denver, 19-13. Matter of fact, they're heading to the fourth. And late third, it is Tampa leading Washington, 23 to 14. Earlier today, along our Compass Media Networks, it was the Texans and C.J. Stroud beating the Colts, 29-27. Steelers toppled the Falcons, 18-10 in Atlanta, and the Patriots stunned the Bengals, 16-10. Sunday Night Football, Rams and Lions in Detroit. Now back to Kevin and Steve in Cleveland. Thank you, Jerry. NFL kickoff weekend on Compass Media Networks is presented by NFL Sunday Ticket and YouTube TV. With NFL Sunday Ticket and YouTube TV, you get every game, every Sunday. Local and national games on YouTube TV. NFL Sunday Ticket for out-of-market games. Excludes digital-only games. Device and content restrictions apply. 27-10, Cowboys with the lead. Sun slowly going down here as the field is all... In shadows now, the portion of the stadium on the far end has some sunlight draped over it. Watson, deep drop, winds, throws, and overshoots his intended receiver.